and this is for young arrangers, composers, and musicians. Don't don't sequence everything yourself. If you can't get other energy on it, uh, inevitably, particularly people obviously that you respect and do a good job, because mixed energy from more than 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 one musician really makes a beautiful marriage, you know. And and Jimmy's just been the best for me. So he did a great job on sequencing the drums and bass on the piece. And I added Brandon Fields on sax. Ever since Images, I've, I've, I've used Brandon on, on my projects. And last but not least, I got uh, Joe Vanelli, who had now become a, a wonderful mixer and had a great studio. He did the mix, not only on the song, but the whole album, All Things in Time. So Diane came in uh, one afternoon and, and proceeded to lay a multitude of voices, both high and low which I didn't realize she had that kind of range because I was thinking maybe I'd get a male to sing the bottom part. But it was, it was wonderful. It was just amazing. L was in shortly afterwards, and then I had him coming in on the second verse and then continue with L you know, through the rest of the piece where it morphed from, from being an African rhythm to sort of a, a hip-hop, Herbie-ish type of, type of groove. And I let other musicians you know, make their their um, their contributions to the record also. We had a percussionist in there. And we had, uh, I managed to get Herbie's uh, Paul, I'm forgetting his last name, but I uh, played bass clarinet on it. And it came out great. I was so appreciative that these people, not worrying about what, neither of them asked me what, what I was gonna pay them. They just said, we're there, we're there for you. So I wanna mention them both in the same sense because I worked on this piece. I want them to know how indebted I am to them.